guys, John here with Survival Dispatch, and today we're going to talk about a couple different options for lighters, and uh, this is a question I get asked quite often, and today we're going to talk about just lighters. Uh, no spark wheels, no ferrocium rods, uh, nothing like that. Uh, just talking an actual flame and a device that makes it. And there's quite a few different options on the market. Uh, they all have their pros and cons, and we're going to kind of just walk through uh, some of the ones that I use, why, and, and kind of when I use them also. So to start off with, I would say it's the, the tried and true, the, uh, the Bic lighter. This is what most people go to. Um, extremely reliable flame source, and uh, for the size, weight, everything like that, a fantastic option to carry on your EDC, to throw in a bag, to throw in an emergency kit, um, and pretty much know that you're always going to have fire. Um, you know, there, there's, there's, a, there's very few drawbacks to a Bic lighter. Uh, they seem to always work. I mean, I've found these things on the ground. If you get the spark wheel uh, clean and, and everything, they usually get a light and you usually get a flame every single time. Uh, and even if, you, if, it, if it was out of fluid, it still is a spark wheel. Um, you know, even if it is out of fluid, you know, so a fantastic option. This is what I tell most people to, to go with um, as their first fire source, because, you know, what we're talking about is an actual fire source, uh, a heat source that can get something going. Like I said, not a spark wheel, not a ferrocium run, but an actual fire source. Uh, and the Bic lighter is a fantastic option, but there are a few drawbacks. Number one, for the most part, they're not refillable. Um, so, you know, that can, that can have a, a shorter lifespan of a Bic lighter, even though the, the wheel and everything still works. It's just out of fluid. Yeah, they are cheap, chuck them away. Um, a lot of them, you can't see how much fluid is left inside. I mean, you can kind of do the shake test and stuff. I, I like the ones that I can see through just so I know exactly what the level is. Uh, another, another drawback to the Bic lighter is it's not super windproof. I mean, just the lightest blows it out almost every single time. In a windy survival situation, maybe rain, um, you, you usually have to find yourself trying to cover the, the flame quite a bit to get your fire started. And, and a small flame can make uh, getting a, a fire started in adverse situations more difficult. Um, but you know, Bic lighter is a, is a fantastic option. It's what I tell most people to, to throw a couple in their bag and they're usually good to go um, unless you get into really you know, adverse situations or long-term situations where the fluid's gonna run out. The second option would be, uh, and, and this, is, this is one of my favorites, uh, and they come in, and all these come in different sizes. I'm just trying to show you examples of each one and kind of how they work, um, is, is a butane lighter. Um, these are, you know, or maybe a torch, as some people would say. Um, you know, they do run off of butane fuel. And uh, the thing is, is number one, most of them have uh, not a, a wheel actual, it's, it's like a barbecue grill igniter, like a Petzl lighter. Um, and you almost get a fire every single time you push it. Um, usually a butane torch like these are actually more fuel efficient over like a Bic lighter. So you get, you get a little bit more burn time. Uh, Almost every single one that you've ever seen can be refilled with something like a, a butane fuel that you can get on Amazon or anything like that. Um, I like the ones, like I said, that are clear so I can see the, the level of the fuel that's left in it so I kind of know where I'm at. Um, these things burn extremely hot, blue flame, and that's really good because number one, you can't, you can't blow them out. Um, it's a much hotter flame, blue flame being one of the hotter flames that there is. So if you have a little bit of wet tender, usually this is hot enough that it'll actually burn or evaporate the water that's in the wood. So if you had something like a piece of fat wood or just a, a stick and it was hot, you would actually see the water boil out of it and it would catch it on, it would catch it a flame uh, on fire a lot easier than using like a Bic lighter, just because the, the temperature of the fire is so much hotter over like a, a standard uh, lighter that, you know, it's um, something that I'm starting to go to more and more. Now there are a couple drawbacks. Um, if you have something, say, I'm just saying like paper, uh, leaves, something like that, really thin, um, really thin and very dry material. There's times where it's so hot that whew, this one did it. Whew, 
There's times where it's so hot that it'll literally just burn a hole through it real quick and it won't actually catch it on fire and uh, leaves are really bad with, with a butane lighter sometimes. Uh, other times they catch right up, but you know, my go-to for most of my fire kits is a butane lighter just to, due to the fact that it's a much hotter flame. So if I'm dealing with wet conditions, uh, they usually tend to get a fire started a whole lot faster over like a Bic lighter. Then we move into our, um, our let's say, Zippo uh, lighter range. So your, your typical standard uh, Zippo lighter, and then we have the, uh, the Exotech Titan Tech and the New Myth Tow Hill lighter. Um, you can also throw peanut lighters into this, like, a, like that County Com sells. Um, there's a lot of different options. This is gonna be your standard, you know, Zippo fuel um, that you can get pretty much anywhere and um, fill them up. And they're gonna have, for the most part, every single one of them is gonna have a, a wheel on it and you're gonna light it. Um, it's gonna pull the fuel up from the, uh, the wick that's inside of it here. So you can just fill them up like that, and drop it in. Um, I like, these lighters are really good. Um, they, they work really, really well. I love the fact that they're refillable, unlike the Bic lighter. So, you know, if you're gonna go with a, a standard flame, I would say, uh, I tend to lean towards these. Um, and it doesn't have to be fancy. You can get you can get your own, you know, standard, just regular Zippo lighter. You know, the, the Exotac Titan, uh, Titan Light is a fantastic option. Um, these tend to, at times, uh, some of the drawbacks to like a Zippo or peanut lighter is the fact that number one, you can't see how much fuel is really in there, how much to refill it. Um, and one of the things too is, unlike a butane lighter that has, I kind of think of it as fuel injection versus a carburetor on a car. This is kind of like a controlled leak of a carburetor. So that's why you can kind of see the flames, you know, at times they sputter a little bit if you've ever used a Zippo lighter. Um, that's because the, the fuel isn't, isn't getting forced into there by pressure or anything. It's just kind of getting sucked up the wick. Um, so you can get a little bit of variance as far as the flame goes. So, so that can kind of mess with them at times, um, but a really good option. Uh, another one of the drawbacks is you can't, like if I didn't say it, you can't tell where the fuel level is on most of them because almost all Zippos are, are metal. Um, so, you know, in a survival situation, uh, it can be, unnerving to have this in your bag, you know, any of these, um, and it go dry and you not know it and you don't have a fire source, or if you're out for a long period of time and you run out of fuel and you, you never really knew it. Um, and then I'm going to say the last option is kind of the, the newer kit on the block for all these, uh, mostly from the, the cigar world, I would say, and that's an electric, um, lighter. And, and these torches are, are pretty freaking awesome. They're extremely hot. Um, rechargeable by a, a USB uh, micro for the most part and uh, can work really, really well. The thing with these is they're almost windproof, almost 100% windproof. Um, you know, they, they just kind of sputter, they're almost like a spark plug. You can't really, can't really put them out. Um, they get extremely, extremely hot and, you know, they're pretty good for, for getting wood to, to start on fire. So, um, I've started to, to use these a little bit more. Uh, I know some of you guys will say, ah, it's another electrical device. You are correct, but um, it's one of those things where if you carry around like a backup battery in your bug out bag or something like that, uh, a storage battery, a solar panel, anything um, that keeps electronics going, you can also keep a lighter going. And these, these will run an extremely long time off of battery life um, and you can get tons of fire started. Uh, with these things. And I really haven't found um, any material that it won't catch on fire for the most part. Uh, they're usually a little bit slimmer and trimmer than a Zippo lighter. So for like an EDC carry, uh, it works pretty good at actually being able to carry it in your pocket and not being a huge bulky item. Um, so, you know, it's just another item that not a lot of people, you don't see a lot in, in the survival world. And, and I do get it, it's electronic, it can break, um, but pretty much all this stuff can break. The wheels can break, the, the flint can break. Um, you know, so, so we're kind of playing that, that game of, you know, if it's anything that's mechanical, uh, yes, it has a tendency to break. That's why we carry something like a ferrocium rod or, or something like that.
like that, um, which has a uh, takes all that out of the equation. So electric lighter um, is, is another option that, that I've just been kind of playing with lately, uh, out in the woods testing, and I've been pretty happy with the results. Um, so, you know, to, to kind of sum everything up, you got your Bic lighter, which I say tried and true. Uh, make sure you put a zip tie around it and, and tighten it so that the, the button can't get depressed and all the fuel leaks out. Um, you got your butane torch, which, you know, burns extremely, extremely hot. Then you kind of go into your Zippo family uh, of lighters uh, and then the electric lighter. So um, all of them are, are really good options, um, you know, and I just kind of wanted to go over some of the pros and cons of each of them because we get asked this question quite a bit. Uh, as far as, you know, what do I carry uh, on a daily basis? It's usually a, a mini Bic lighter um, or, you know, this electric lighter quite a bit. Um, because I know within my EDC system, I always have my backpack with me as well that has other stuff in it. So, um, you know, and then fuels, you can get, you know, any of these pretty much anywhere. Uh, Zippo, butane, they last a ton of, they last for a long time. This, uh, this Zippo expired in 1998. Um, and I filled it up, one of my lighters the other day, and it works just fine. It's just an old can that I had laying around. So, um, you know, I, I tend to lean towards the, the lighters that I can refill, uh, usually because the lighter's still working when the gas runs out. So I like to, to get as long of a life as possible. So make sure you guys have fuel on storage as well. Uh, if you guys got any other questions with regards to, to lighters in your bug out bag, EDC, anything like that, feel free to leave them below. We'll definitely be around to answer them. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and until next time, be safe. <laughs>